Hi, it's Todd, Product Manager for SolidWorks here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Wanted to talk to you real quick about another, yet another, great sketch enhancement for SolidWorks 2014. This one is in the realm of splines. So for those of you using this type of geometry, these types of entities, you're probably aware that they can get fairly complex fairly quickly with all of the tangency weighting and vector controls as well as being able to put X and Y uh, location dimensions on the intermediate spline points but uh, when it came time to just give it an overall length or even to control the length of the spline we were just kind of out of luck we could measure it before and then we could make changes and then measure it again but what if I need to drive that spline with a dimension uh, for those of you with SOLIDWORKS Premium and using a very specific part of the software called routing where you're using uh, especially in a harnessing electrical cabling uh, flexible tubing those kind of things in SOLIDWORKS Premium you did have the ability to fix the length of a spline and it makes sense for manufacturing that's what gives you the length of all those wires and cables and tubes however in uh, in the more freeform design like this we were kind of out of luck so now we have that ability and it makes sense in this case I'd like to be able to set uh, you know I'm gonna lay up a sheet of maybe carbon fiber for this uh, board for this foot be uh, bed here and now I can do that you'll see just by using your dimension tool place it anywhere on that spline and that is going to now be a driving dimension So now I can control exactly the length of that spline another nice use Again, if I still want it to be completely free form, is I could just make it a driven dimension, and then I can still make my changes, and I and I'll get that that reference dimension feeding back constantly instead of always having to use the, the measure tool. So again, this is something we've been requesting for a while. SolidWorks delivered this year. We appreciate it. Be sure to look for that in SolidWorks 2014.